Uh, good afternoon, guys. Thank you for inviting me to Moscat. Um, my name is Joseph, as you know. I'm here to share my passion for, for coffee with you. Um, before we do much like what we discussed with uh, Mr. Saif, we are not beginners. We start from intermediate to professional. So this is typically what professionals do. We have coffee that we want to play around with. But before we go any further, I put a topic on top to say what is coffee extraction because people want to brew coffee but they don't really understand the science and the myth behind that brewing. So what we're going to highlight much more is what is coffee extraction. Coffee extraction, yes we have seen we have flavor wheels and we have noted that we are using Arabica coffee over Robusta and Special coffee which is more flavored uh, coffee plant than the robusta. So having that point, which is why most specialty coffees they use Arabica plant over the robusta. It is due to that reason. So taking two into consideration, we know the plant of coffee that we want to use is more flavor. So coffee extraction on its own is actually dissolving those flavored sol solubles of ground coffee in water based on weight, time, and temperature. In the brew method you are going to make, you want to use and want to capitalize to have more flavors extracted. We can jump in to blame the roaster, to say the roaster, this and that, or the barista can be blamed also in that way. But as professionals, we want to look at that extraction and that leads us to the roaster and the roasting profile where we want to play around with some of the parameters which are affected, such as aroma, body, and acidity. So we are saying, in short, coffee extraction is dissolving flavored solubles of water based on weight, time, and temperature, which simply shows us that we have a formula, having said that we want, to, if you understand the myth or the science behind brewing, you understand brewing. So, talking of weight, which simply means we have a weight that we put on to have an outcome. So the first is the dosage. Like how many grams are we dosing to say how many grams before any brewing technique, either Chemex, B60, Aeropress, anything, we should have a system. So we have a dosage, right, which we call, or which can be the weight in of the coffee that we have weight in, we have said we want to dissolve the flavor solubles of ground coffee. So that weight of that ground coffee, that weight in, is called dosage. Right? We also, on that point of weight, we want to have also a weight out, right? which is a result, a resultant weight out, which is a yield. Right? So, in other ways, this is weight out. So, for, in order for you to achieve the best results, we need to have a structure to say and to have a formula. So, we have a dosage which is a weight in and the yield which is weight out, right, which is a resultant. Right? So, there is also a ratio that we need to work on. Right? So, now I would like you to look at this in a simple way to say, I want you to work on simple ratios in manual brewing. Start from 1 is to 10, right? 1 is to 11, 1 is to 12, 1 is to 13, 1 is to 14, 1 is to 15. I want you to play around these ratios. What I'm saying is, one particle of ground coffee is equal to 10 parts of water. And this is the way I want to make it. And one particle of coffee is equal to 11 parts of water. So this is actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So now we have a situation where people will say, I want a B60 customer language. I want a strong, right? Which means they want intensity. They want intensity. They want it to be more concentrated, to 
have 90. This, by the number, by the ratio of growing bigger in size, this means there is more dilution of water. So based on your choice, customer's choice, whoever wants to have that coffee, yourself, a guest. So based on your choice, on your requirement, you can play around with these figures. So we're having a formula which say dosage multiplied by the ratio is equal to yield. So now if we have this formula, now we are ready to go. So each and every way or either way you want to brew, consider that. Right? So we will do a small exercise to illustrate and demonstrate <coughs> one method, maybe a chemist at first, and pick up one of the ratios and pick up a dosage for example. So let's say my dosage that I've dosed there and I've picked 18 grams is my weight E, but I feel I want that intensity, but I want more clean coffee because filter gives more clarity because all the oils, much of the oils are eliminated by the filter paper. So, but the intensity of the coffee will be determined <coughs> by the ratios. Let's say to start with, I need my ratio of 1 is to 10, which means one particle of coffee, which is equal to 10 parts of water, which will give me my yield of 180. Right? Mm -hmm. So based on this, this means that I have this amount of water in my yield. Right? Let's look at the same dosage as well. 18, right? Then maybe the same gas feels it's more intense, right? It's more intense. They need a little bit more dilution. Maybe let's say I go for 13, right? One is to 13 ratio. So which means I'll multiply 18 by 13 to give my yield, right? Two, three, four. So in short, that's how we play around with all these numbers, right? But we have a situation I have some printed some papers for you, like for example, during that exercise now, you realize your coffee is too bitter, right, what is bitterness, we'll look into that, maybe too acidic, right, we have some fruits that you guys organize that will help us <coughs> to understand the parameters that will be affected by brewing, right, maybe the roast is good, but you are missing some of these elements to achieve a perfect brew, right? Before we start an exercise, 